Hello everybody, my name is Kate. I'm a teacher here at the Autism Treatment Centre of America, home to the Sunrise Programme. And today we're going to share with you a theme idea that you can take into the playrooms to help your children on the autism spectrum look at you more, uh, attend to you more, speak to you more, have fun interacting with you. Now, this is the proof that you don't have to spend a lot of money really engaging with your children. Now, everybody, if your household is like my household, everybody has lots and lots of odd socks. Now, these are only a few of the odd socks that I have in my house. Now, think of the amazing games you could have in the room with your children, just with odd socks. So if your children like to shake things in front of their eyes, throw things up in the air, you have new things to shake throw up in the air that they might really, really love and really enjoy. You can stuff socks with other odd socks to create balls that, that, that are, they're kind of like soft balls. So you can throw them around the room, especially if your child really likes to throw things. You can also, instead of having a fun, soft, and gentle pillow fight, you can have a sock fight instead. There's a new variation of the fun game. Now, also what socks can do is they can help you present old games in a really fun and different way, like a variation. So let's say we take the old game of tickle, a lot of your children love to be tickles, right? So you can write different body parts on pieces of paper. So here, we got tummy, and this is me, I've tried to draw a tummy there. So if your child ha is yet to read, they can look at the picture and learn to say the word tummy. If it's, if I've got feet here and I've drawn a picture of a foot. So you put the word in the sock, and then you bring your socks out and they have to, they pick a sock when you're in the middle of the game and they're really enjoying it and it's really fun, they pick a sock to find out what other parts of the body you're going to tickle. So they're either learning to read the word or to say the word, depending on what your child's challenge is. Now, you can also play a guessing game. So you can put objects in the socks. Here we got a little car. So we put the car in the sock and Maybe you have a little doggy, cute little doggy here, and you put the dog in the sock. Then your child has to feel it. Mm, I wonder what it is, and you can give them clues to it. So it's another fun way to do a guessing game. So there are some, I'm sure you can think of other ideas you can do just using your odd socks. Have fun, guys.